Thanks from uh, light uh, moderate turbulence in the Bay Area there for about 1242. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Do you want to become a pilot and don't know from where to start? Don't worry, in this video I am going to give you detailed information about first step one should take to become a pilot. The first step according to me would be to get class 1 and class 2 medicals. Without a valid medical assessment, one cannot fly. So before starting your training, it is important to get a valid medical assessment. Let me guide you step by step how you can get your medical assessment. There are two types of medical, class 1 and class 2. Class 2 is for student private license and private pilot license and class 1 is for commercial pilot license. To apply for class 2 medical, one has to approach class 2 medical examiners. I have attached the link in the description for list of class 2 medical examiners. You can check out the list of class 2 medical examiners available in your area from that list. I got done with my uh, class 2 medical examination from Hiranandani Pawai which is in Mumbai and it cost me around 5500 the cost may vary depending on the location or examiner if you have any other questions feel free to dm me on my instagram my instagram id is mentioned on the screen moving on the documents that you would require to carry to get your class 2 medical assessment you should carry class 10 mark sheet class 10 certificate a valid indian government id and a photograph and all the tests which are required to be performed should be done from NABL approved laboratory or DC approved Air Force Medical Center. Here is the list of tests that one would undergo to get class 2 medical assessment. The first test is blood test which includes hemoglobin test, total leukocyte count and differential leukocyte count. The second test is urine routine test and urine microscopy test. The third test is x-ray of chest. The fourth test is pure tone audiometry. The fifth test is electronic cardiogram. The sixth test is eye test and ENT test. One should have 6x6 eyesight to fly a plane. Yes, you can fly with your specs on but you should not have color blindness or night blindness. The seventh test is BMI test which is body mass index. Your index should be between 18.5 to 24.5. If it's out of limit you might have to take additional test. Blood pressure below 140-90. After the examination is done the examiner will give you form CA35 in which it will be mentioned whether you are fit to fly, unfit to fly or temporarily unfit to fly. In case of any medical irregularity, one will be temporarily unfit and proper medication has to be done. After that, you have to go through the examination again and then you are fit to fly. So once you get your CA35, which mentions uh, you are fit, after that, within a month, you will get a medical assessment from DDCA medical cell. In case you don't get your medical assessment within a month, you will have to go to DGCA Medical Center which is in New Delhi and collect your assessment from them. They have a specific day and time for visitors so make sure you plan your trip accordingly. So that's the process to get your class 2 medical assessment. So you need to have your class 2 medical assessment to apply for the class 1 medical assessment. Moving on with initial class 1 medical which is your first time class 1 medical. It can be done from three Air Force medical centers which are AFCME Delhi, IAM Bangalore, MAC Jorhat Assam and the other two uh, civil centers are as follows Dr. Balabhai Nanavati Hospital which is in Mumbai, Apollo Heart Center which is in Chennai. To apply for class 1 medical at Air Force Medical Center one will have to fill up an actual A form which I have mentioned in the description and have to send it to DGCA medical appointment at gmail.com Send it 1-2 to two months prior to the date of uh, your medical The fees for examination at Air Force Medical Center is around 3000 for initial class 1 medical 
To apply for class 1 at civil centers, you will have to contact the hospital directly. I did my class 1 from Dr. Balabhai Nanavati Hospital which is in Mumbai and it cost me around uh, 15,000 rupees. Many of you might be wondering why I did my class 1 medical from a civil center as it's 5 times expensive than the Air Force Medical Center. I live in Mumbai so if I go to any of the Air Force Medical Center to go to the medical center and staying there would cost me the same. So I just did it from civil center in Mumbai. The test conducted for a class 1 and class 2 medical are almost the same but for class 1 there are few additional tests which are as follows blood, sugar, fasting and post fasting hemoglobin A1C test liver function test blood, urea and serum creatinine test Serum Uric Acid Lipid Profile Ultrasound Sonography Test for Abdomen and Pelvis Dilated Fundus Examination If BMI is greater than 30, Blood Sugar Fasting After all these tests, if required, doctor might ask you to go for some additional tests depending on your result after you are done with your examination, you will be given Form CA-35 just like class 2 and then uh, within a month, you should be getting your assessment. If you don't receive your assessment, you have to physically go to DCCA medical cell in New Delhi. That's all about the first step to be taken to become a pilot. I will be talking about the second step to be taken in the journey of becoming a pilot in my upcoming videos. Let me know in the comment section how did you like this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.